Uh, now, uh, what is wrong with getting a doggy bag? We've been talking about this on the show today. People in South Derbyshire are being encouraged to take any food that they've left at a pub, a restaurant or a cafe in a, a snap box, you know, like a, like a lunch box. You take your leftovers. And the district council have been handing out what they're calling snap boxes, basically a, a fancy dog bag. And they're hoping that it'll help cut down on waste. The study says around 40% of us are too embarrassed to ask about taking home leftovers. So what is wrong with a doggy bag? Grant Harold is a, a former royal butler and an etiquette etiquette expert they sound like a great idea good morning i think they're dreadful i, I mean a doggy bag when when i've got dogs and when people mention doggy bags i'm afraid i think of something completely different what's i don't i don't see the problem with them it helps uh, cut down on waste and you get to enjoy the food that you had at the restaurant again the next morning lovely i, I can uh, yes quite i mean i can understand what you're saying and i mean having the food the next day um I, I'm not somebody that likes waste. I, I agree with you on that. And some people do reuse things, which is absolutely fine. But when it comes to a doggy bag, I mean, sometimes when you see the state of a doggy bag and everything kind of being thrown in, I don't think it's the, the healthiest option. And the other problem we have is we leave things sitting around and then we think, oh, we'll have it in a couple of days and then we're going to get ill or we're going to catch something from what we've eaten. And then who then, then we're going to probably go and blame somebody. And rather than go through all the hassle of that, something that's easier just to order less when you you're ordering your meal instead of overpiling the plate so that hopefully you can finish what's on the plate and if not it's fine because I'm sure when it goes back to the, the kitchen that you know you never know they might have some chickens or something outside <laughs> yeah but Grant what but, but Grant what, what about uh, what about chicken tikka masala for breakfast Yes, well, funny enough, it's suddenly put me off my breakfast. You actually <laughs> saying that? Um, I mean, chicken, chicken, chicken salad. Yes, lovely at the right time of day. Uh, you, obviously, if you want to have it for your lunch, your dinner, but for your breakfast, I couldn't think of anything. I couldn't think of anything worse. Yeah, fair enough. To be honest, what is the right etiquette then? What's the right way about going going about trying to to cut down on on waste, but acting properly in a restaurant? Well, for example, if you go to a restaurant, let's just say you've been taking out for a meal, I always advise people don't over-order. Don't order, certainly don't order more than your host if you've been taking it. We've got to bear in mind that you should be ordering um, not the cheapest thing in the menu, but certainly uh, not the most expensive. And again, it's making sure that what you're ordering, we, we can eat. You, you, as I mentioned, I've been to so many uh, places that you'll see people piling their plates so high up with food. And I don't know why. I think there's always a worry that's the last meal we're going to have for the, for the next couple of months. And then you can see they can't finish it. And then there's a debate over what they do with it. And, and God forbid, I've, I've even noticed people using napkins and trying to put bits of meat and things into, into their paper napkins. And, I mean, the sites are awful. And, again, they're going to possibly have that another, another day. So if you go out for a meal, order something sensible that you think possibly you can enjoy and finish and if you leave a little bit that's absolutely fine i mean at one time the etiquette was you could leave a little bit on your plate which today we seem to kind of finish most things because of portion control but as i said don't don't go and ask for doggy bags or 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 even as it even worse wrap it up in a paper napkin what do you make of this text i've just had when i went to new york if you left your food they put it in a box and made you take it home because they were offended if you left it well, I mean, it seems a bit silly them saying that because, again, if you take it away and then you, as I mentioned, you have it and, God forbid, you're suddenly ill, you're going to go back and blame them. So it's probably not a sensible move. I'm sure they want you to appreciate their food and they want to make sure you keep enjoying it, but I think you have to be a bit sensible about it. Grant, lovely to speak to you. A former Royal Butler etiquette expert, not a fan of the doggy bag.